Hello. We're going to loop through a folder of workbooks. This folder here. This is where it's located. And I just have uh, things, things here. Workbook 1, workbook 2, workbook 3. Okay, and you see there's different rows. 24 rows there. 11. And 16. So when we, we want to loop and copy all those contents into this little master form. So I'm going to start by just creating a button. That's how I like to start these things. Okay, then we say new, and there it is. Now I already have the code written out on my site, excel.com. Accelerate. So it's called loop through folder. Okay, and that's my code right there. So I'm just going to copy that code. Copy, because it's it works exactly how I need it to work. I'm just going to say Control A and Control B. Boom. And there it is. Now I have to change this, so I'm going to go back to here, to where the folder is. I'm just going to copy it. Gonna paste it right here. And we need the backslash or forward slash paste there. Now, all those workbooks, you see they're XLSX. So we have to fix that in the code because these were for XLS. S. And you'll see all the data starts from row 10 in all these workbooks. See? Row 10, 10, 10. And that's how we're supposed to. So I need to change this to start from row 10. And if we look in here again, just open one up. You see it's AP, header 42, which is column 42. So here's my formula. That's just the data I put in there, W bomb, column number, column number 42. I'm just going to close this. Don't want to save it. Boom. Um, yeah, so let's go back here. So from column 1, rows because it's going to count the rows all the way to 42 which is just say for example from column A to column AP which is 42 and that's all we need to do just make sure it's there so now let's go back to my worksheet. I'm just going to edit it and say get data. And we also have to assign the macro to it. Loop through folder is the code. Let's see what happens. Boom. There it is. See, it opened up all those workbooks and closed them without you knowing it. Control shift end. Delete. Now if you want, see it you don't see it happen because I got application screen updating zero, which means false. Application computer alerts is false. So that's it. Thanks for watching.